I'm Mr. Taterhead. I've been playing Dead by Daylight without perks for two years now. I have the world record for the Steam achievement called Power Moves, which is completing one full generator and escaping without any perks equipped. And this is how I think you should loop the groaning storehouse. Oh, right. I still love seeing that name. That's like the whole point, really, is to get everybody as excited when they see groaning storehouse as I get when I see that. And beautiful, we spawned right in front of the meat and potatoes of this whole video. Because the storehouse usually is like the middle of the map with two other like sleeves. And what you need to think of is the storehouse being like sort of the middle third of the map. Because from the storehouse, you're going to have two what I call sleeves. One that goes that way and one that goes that way. If there's a gen here or this area, you want to get this one done first. Because if you get the one done in the far corner, you usually just cut off a huge portion of the map. So there's one here. There might be one even farther down here. We'll see what the RNG gave us. There was not. So sometimes you get a gen down there and then one here in the middle. And you don't want to do that gen down there first. Everybody always does that gen first because it's like the easiest one to get done. A lot of times people will spawn back there, but if you spawn back there, keep running. That gen right there is probably the best gen to get done. You want to do that one first because there's almost always, there's another gen usually back here on the end of the other sleeve. And if there wasn't back there, then it's one on this sleeve. So it's always good to see both sides. Never get those two done. A lot of times you'll spawn there, and it's really tempting because you and two, three teammates maybe will spawn there. But now this is the furthest gen that the killer will have to like stop. You know, they don't have they have no reason to go back there. There's tons of guides on like these jungle gyms, I should say. This is an LT wall. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to run those, but on maps like this. You really want to look at how to connect things. This one kind of is connectable, yeah, but you'd have to run it the right way. So you have to switch off here. When they're at the peak there, you would switch off to this one, which you would either do a 50-50, but these ones are longer. This would be a decent example if you were going to run this here because you would mix this with this one here. But that's what I mean by having the RNG. Sometimes there won't be a pal there. You just have to sort of look around and see what you got. Same with this one over here. If I was playing in a matchmade game, I would be looping these two together, or I would be trying to at least. Um, specifically using this side because this is a longer side that breaks line of sight. So if they were following you around that way, you could just run here and then they're chasing you and then, you know, connect those two together. There are tons of guides on how to run those exact jungle gyms, but there aren't really as many on... Let's actually see if we got one of those new jungle gyms. No, so we actually got a little bit unlucky, but we didn't get any of the new jungle gyms here. I do have examples, which is nice. Fuck! I didn't think she was actually coming after me. I just went to itch my face, and now I'm being chased. Greed the pallet. <laughs> I love when that works. I'm gonna get hit anyway, though. No, I'm not! Let's go. Alright, now maybe she'll think that I stuck there. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that was random as fuck. Why did they go that way? That's what I mean. I was like not sure if doing this on purpose or doesn't know how this tile works. Are you gonna throw? Why didn't you throw? What the fuck? See what I mean? I'm like, why are you not throwing? The M1 Huntress is like the scariest killer in the game. Yes! She pretty swung the pallet. You guys see why I hate this map, by the way? This is used to be my least favorite Macmon killer, and now it's Garden of Pain. Because this shit sucks. God damn it. No, I thought they were going to double back. 
the cool thing about this map and why I think this is the best map to do first before we get into the other guides is it's kind of a one trick pony. No matter where you spawn, you need to find the storehouse. If you find the storehouse, you're always at safety. You have to be pretty darn far from the storehouse to take an M1 and not make it. That's why it's best not to go out there and do those gens anyway. So basically don't go to the end of what I call the sleeves. Don't go to the end of the sleeves past the water tower. If there's a gen there, save it for last. Same with this one. If you go to the end of the sleeve, uh, save it for last so you don't make the map super small. That is the first tips I could give for this map particularly. Now we have to get into <laughs> what I think is the best loop in the game to be able to learn. I feel like you can literally learn this loop with two hours of this game. If you get the proper head start, people like to call us an infinite, but they can always force three window vaults and you got to try to avoid that. So you're going to try to throw killers off with their scratch marks or our scratch marks. Um, when you're running around this way, particularly um, right in the beginning of the game, you can go here, right? To get to this one ride window. And also, biggest hint I could ever give anybody, be looping tight. <laughs> That's the biggest mistake I ever see killers and survivors making. Killers is funnier. Killer, you're like the manager of the establishment. Like, you got to do what the survivors do, but better. Right? So, like, you got to loop tight. So, this is what I'm talking about here. You make the smallest movements. And you got to loop it out here to get the running vault there. Right? This is not as strong a window as it appears. It used to be a lot stronger than it is right now. But you definitely want to be running it this way. Because I don't think you can get the running vault the other way. But this is what I mean by looping tight. Cutting every corner as tight as you possibly can. To get this loop right here. The whole way around. Because looping very tight can be the difference between you getting hit and you not getting hit. I'm just running this one a few times to show. This is probably the smoothest one. You run a little bit out to get the running vault. And in you go. You can actually get the running vault um at an angle as well it's just a bit riskier to try that what you really want to do is you want to get the killer chasing you you need a, he needs to be coming towards you right at first and then you run around the corner we're going to do this in a second right now mlt is just letting me explain it without having a tear radius up uh, and that's what i mean by getting the running vault at an angle if you get the proper head start and the running they'll even see you through here you can use these windows to see this is why i think this loop is hilarious is because you can't even mind game it as killer on this side you can see through windows on the other loop which is better We'll get to that. Um, you can see through it on one side, but the other window has three spots you can stand in um, where you can see where the killer is coming from. And so you, the real goal you want is to connect this window with that window. Um, now, you need to trick him. You need him to think that you're committing to this loop. So that's why I wanted to loop it a few times um, because you only really, I don't really think you can get three loops out of this window. You need to get a good head start just to get two. Um, but if you can get the right head start to get two and switch, then that's what you want to do. So you'd want to loop down here. It would break line of sight. He might even think that you went to the other window, but you just need to throw him off for a little bit, right? And come this way. That's if you have a huge head start. Um, if you have a smaller head start, then you don't even want to just do that. You, you don't even want to, like, try to break the chase. You just want to automatically cut to this window after running the other one a few times and then cut back. You always want to stand here. This is what I was talking about, about this window being the strongest. Stand here and watch. It's, it'll be tempting, and, and it can be tempting. Same thing here, though. Stand right this exact spot, because I will see you coming. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way I won't see you coming. If you stand right here, even closer to this one, is probably the best. Because I can see you if you try to sneak to the right side. I'll see you through the window, and I'll be able to uh, react quickly and make it back to that window. And if you're coming from this side, I can see you through that window. And I can just run back to this thing right here. And this is another spot. Because they will try to double back here. So don't vault this window unless you see this killer commit to, like, here-ish. Like, this is, like, a good rule of thumb right here, too. If they're in line with this, then, then you run to, you know, you run to vault right here. Because they have to run around that. And then you can run this way. Then you stop here. Right here. This is, like, where, this is, like, I guess the hard part of doing this loop is getting your camera work right. You must stop right here. Because if you stop right here, you can see each way. And yeah, it'll literally bounce your eyes left to right. And I'm literally doing this. Like, I'll look like an insane person when I'm standing here. But that's because you, you need to see which place is coming from, the red stain. But it's great because it's better than doing this. You know what I mean? That's why you got to get it right in the right spot. Right there. So I can see which way you're coming from. Um, preferably a little bit more closer on this side because you need a bigger head start if you're going to be pushed the other way. So if he's going to push me from that way, I need to get a running vault. But you don't if, you're, if you have enough distance. Um... It's nice too as well. Stand like you have to be a little bit farther out about here so you can see him coming, but it's not as good reaction time. So if you have the proper distance, especially if you're not in a chase, I actually recommend the medium vault here unless you're like in a full committed loop and you know he's coming after you cuz if you're not in chase, you can get free vaults off of this and it won't block because he won't get you in chase and you just can get another free vault or two over and over, just vault it. 
Um, obviously, you don't want to be pushed this way. So if the killer pushed you that way, he's doing a good job. And if he's committing to it, you have to run it wide. Run it as sharp as you can. And then on, you turn this corner. That's when you go a little wide to get the running vault. Um, always look back behind you before you vault. You're going to turn the corner. I'm just doing it again just to show. You come here. And if you don't see the red stain, don't vault. And you do have enough reaction because if you see the red stain, and you can even see him coming around the corner, you can usually still get the vault. Unless he has uh, Bloodlust, but that's the whole point of trying to vault it that way. Now, here's where you're, it's going to get real tricky, is trying to combine the two together, right? Because you got you really do want to try to go back and forth as best as you can. That's what these big blocks that a lot of people think hurt their chances at looping are really going to help your chances at looping. Um, and these blocks, nothing will ever change here. There will always be these two blocks. There will always be that window. There will always be that window right here. There will always be that breakable door, and there will always be this pallet. This is your savior don't use this pallet um unless you let's give a proper scenario unless you're in trouble right and then it's a better idea to greed this pallet this is a good pallet to greed this is a very hard pallet to not get mind gamed on i will also say so you want to camp corners with situations like this it's like one of the other jungle gyms uh with that same situation pallet um so you want to camp this pallet kind of like this you don't want to camp on the pallet Unless you're pushed here, and then the same thing. If you camp it on the pallet, you're going to end up doing this because you can't see which way the killer's coming from, which isn't bad, but you're going to waste the pallet that way. Um, if you're injured, I wouldn't even, like, think about throwing this pallet. I would just greet it as many times as you can. Or if you're not injured, sorry, if you're healthy, greet it as many times as you can, and then when you finally get hit, run away. Um, but the best way to run, and when I'm talking about this window being the best window in the game, is running it this direction. If they're running it this direction, it's hilarious. Um... This is the best window, and I'll tell you why. Because if you're running this way, this is how the killers get lost. Because your scratch marks are all over the place when you're running the, the window like this. Um, and it kind of throws the killers off the first time, because scratch marks are all over this shit, right? So they kind of ignore it. You know, they're going to see all these scratch marks all over the place until they get to this corner. And they're going to turn, and they're going to see your scratch marks fading off. And then they're going to hear you vault, because you just switch back to that window. <laughs> now they're way behind. <laughs> now there's the reset, right? Um, and we got the same thing. We got, I'm going to show you guys how to connect this window back to this one. Um, I started to, but now, now I'm going to really show you. So that's where you connect it, right? You switch back to that, but it's because if you have to, and, and this is my highest recommendation, make sure you get two loops off of this because it almost never works if you only do one loop because they're still trying to see where you go. But if you jump it the first time, right, they chase you because they're going to lose line of sight of you right here. They have to trust your scratch marks. So the first time you do it, if you don't get the second loop, they have to see where you're going. They're going to see you go back for the same window. Now they're chasing you, right? Obviously doing your mind games to see if they, you know, if they continue on. Most of the time they are continuing. Um, unless they know this window, they will not chase you. But then, hey, and then you're not getting chased either. And that's a help. You know, to a lot of people that are just a noob and learning how to, you know, loop the killer in the first place. So either that's kind of a win-win for people that are just learning this game. But um, if he's chasing you, it's on your, like, say, okay, that was the first one. We run it a second time. Or that was the second vault, right? Um, and say that the window is now not blocked because that's why you want to do two vaults instead of three because if you get three vaults the windows be blocked and he's going to know that you're going to have to do something about it that's why you got to pull the, the the rug out from underneath him after the second vault while it's not blocked because he's going to lose line of sight here and you cut in he already was ignoring the scratch marks all over this thing because he had to turn the corner and see your scratch marks here and that's why you got to throw him off he already saw you do the loop once he's going to trust that you'll do it again because you did already and that's when you throw him off because once you broke the line of sight after jumping through this window he'll have to trust your scratch marks which he already did you already gave him the first example and a second example, and now you're going to run back for it. So this is important here to do two, not three, so you don't block the window. He's already been ignoring these scratch marks, so it's too late. Get yourself the fast running vault, and they had to reset. A lot of times they're over there, like behind where that was. They have to run all the way back around, and now we're completely reset. Now the fun thing is, if, he's, if he has bloodlust, you can flip it back. Um, this is even funnier sometimes if you haven't gotten three vaults in chase, if you're looping very tight also. Once again, I'll remind you, as many times as I can, everybody here, <laughs> loop as tight as you possibly can at all times. Don't give up any distance because any teeny like centimeter of distance can be the difference between you getting hit and you not getting hit. So even like all around here, loop as tight as possible. When you're not being chased by the killer is the best time to learn how to like how everything works. We were talking about Ormond and that one uh, spot on the stairs where if you hug it too tight, you get a little fall and you stagger because you looped it too tight. Um, but you find out stuff like that too, but always be practicing that because you can always work on your movement because you can you know it's like 
trying to loop as tight as a cookie cutter fits. You know, you need to be doing that. See, I lost a little distance there because I was moving, but I wasn't allowing my momentum to go forward. I wasn't looping quite tight enough. Right here is a good spot to loop. And then right here, like that's what I mean. You have to be doing it as tight because that can be the difference here. So after you have done this two times, you run around this corner, you turn. He already has to trust your scratch marks. He's following me. Make sure he's following me. He's coming around. He had to lose me for a sec. That's when he cut in because he's like, all right, I lost it. Now I come back this way. Now he's behind. Oops. See, I messed up. <laughs> I, I was over. I was looping over tight, but I was also trying to make sure you guys could see because usually I just turn around and look for a sec because I know he's not going to be able to do anything about it. There's no point in like staring behind you. You might as well loop as tight as possible for a second. But you know the killer can't do anything about it. Um, so after you jump that, now the way you cycle it back around in case he has bloodlust um same thing he sees you through this window but he has to break line of sight for a second so now's your chance you turn this corner and you come back this way you come back this way and bam now he lost all that ground now he's back on now he's back all the way back there and then sometimes he's even far enough behind where he'll lose you completely and give up or he'll be far enough where you can literally just straight up use this window again and now it's like in his head now he has to double back on everything so it's really funny because he'll be looking around and he'll be looping loose if that makes sense. So because he has to worry about your scratch marks here, later in the game, if he's chasing you again and you're coming around this way, and he does the same thing, he's coming after you, now you can just run it this way. And like this is the whole reason you need to be looping super tight. Because he might lose the teeniest bit of ground once again because he had to look here for a second to see if you were that way. And then you come this way. And then... That's how you do it. Now, the one last thing I need to address is the pallet. So obviously the best way that they can push you, and this is why I think that pallet is hilarious, the best way they can push you is pushing you this way, right? The killer, if they're figuring it out. Um, but if they push you this way and they got you, they're going to have the distance. You won't make either window or a window is blocked. Same thing. That's when you use the pallet. If you're healthy, it's the best to use this pallet because you can get a bunch of free mind games. You're playing with house money. You know you're not going to throw the pallet down because you want it for later um, because it's not going to save your life. And all honesty, I don't throw this pallet unless I'm on death hook. Although I try to do that in general. I try not throwing pallets as much. Um, sometimes it really helps. Sometimes it really hurts. You'll not throw a pallet. You'll go down and get left on death hook or left to die on death hook. Every now and then that happens. And dang, I should have thrown that pallet because I would still be in this game. Um, but... Uh, rule of thumb for me for survivor I try not to throw any pallets on my first chase I'll eat downs I'll know I'm going down but I'm not going to throw this pallet because I want it for labor when I'm in trouble or somebody else is in trouble so that's the principle that I think applies greatly to this pallet do not throw this pallet unless you're on death hook um, or if it's Bubba in basements right there <laughs> you know stuff like that like similar situations uh, trapper in basement you know stuff like that if you sit up for it um, but this wouldn't be the best basement anyway if it was trapper this would be a good basement for hag um, but try not to throw this pallet unless you're on death hook because this is your saver if he pushes you the wrong way And then sometimes you can even get in his head and he'll mind game himself And you can get back to the windows because he double backed and didn't know where you went because you were greeting the pallet over and over um, And if you are on death hook I think the best way to loop that pallet particularly is like the really weak jungle gym that is kind of similar. It's it's kind of this setup with like another small loop on the other side, but you don't have that to even slightly mind game the killer. Don't ever camp it on like the side. That leaves you vulnerable, and the killers are going to expect that. You want to get as far around so you can see the red stain on the left. Also, make sure you're still moving because if you're still moving, you can turn faster. If you're still moving, if you're standing still, you have to get all your momentum going before you start moving. So a lot of times if I'm looping, you see me doing stuff like this. That's because I want to keep my momentum going so I can react faster. Um... You want to stand here or you want to stand in a situation like this? Uh, you don't really want to be on the other side because the other side is going to be a hard place to get to unless you want to do some fun mind games early on and you're not throwing the pallet and you want him to mind game himself and you can escape out here maybe. Uh, yeah, escape out here. There's a pallet here. Nice. Um, and you could go do that and then you can connect those two together if you want to preserve that pallet. Um, but if you're in danger, I feel like the best thing to do if you need to throw the pallet is stand here going side to side. This is very risky, but I don't... I feel like this is the best way to try to save your life side to side and then he's going to try to expect he's going to expect you to greet it over and over so you got to wait for him to commit to like pa past in line with one of these barrels and he'll still might double back you know it'll all work differently but I think the safest way to use this pallet to save you is camp side to side get the stun and you got to peace out the second you throw that um, with this pallet if you throw it down and he doesn't break the pallet you got to come for this one if he does break the pallet it's almost better to come back to this one 
But it also depends, because if he mind games you into breaking the pallet, and you're stuck right here, you might not have enough ground if he turns around. It might be real risky to get this fastball here. Um, and yeah, I feel like that's the best way to loop the storehouse. Um, some side things as well for the storehouse would be um, if this generator spawns here, um, there's usually some other generators behind here, which is really bad for the killer because that means he has to try to guard this generator. And if you know how to loop this building, which is pretty easy to loop, He's going to be in trouble because he's going to have to sit there pushing you off all the time. And good luck, you know? And you're never going to leave. Um, this hit killer would have gotten actually one of the better rolls I've really seen for the storehouse, which is nice. And it's weird. This big main building is very survivor sided, but I actually think this is one of the more balanced maps in the game. It's not huge um, if you don't guard down near the end. So we got, the, we got that one right there, that generator there. Um, if you don't guard near the end of the sleeves, it, then it's amazing. So... Once again, we were talking about earlier, the sleeves is uh, one's that way and one's that way. There's always going to be suffocation pit-like jungle gyms on this one. The other one usually has one jungle gym, goes to the water tower, and then goes behind. Um, these jungle gyms were, will differ in which ones they are. You want to connect them together. This one's broken right here because you can use this and use even the stupid part of that gym as a mind game. But this is all RNG. Um... And what you get, there's also tons of guides out there on YouTube already that show you how to break down the most um, common jungle gyms and tiles. I will include examples of the newer ones you can get because I haven't seen many guides on those. Because um, you can get those on this map. We didn't this time, but that's fine. Because that's how the game goes. Um, so if you're on the killer side of things, before we get MLT behind me and then loop it a few times so I can have his point of view with scratch marks... Um, the way I would play this is, as I said, it co completely pretend that back area doesn't exist in the beginning of the game. Sometimes we can even get three gens in this area. Um, in that case, then just ignore the one in the very far back. But guard like that one and this one. Um, because you usually have down that sleeve. You usually have a generator at the end of that. You don't want to watch that either. And if that's the case, all you really have to do is ignore the storehouse. Most people don't know how to loop it. Um, it's not like, you know, everyone doesn't know how to loop it. Obviously, some people know how to loop it. Um, but that's also your thing. If they push you to the small window and they loop it twice, you got to leave them. I would never chase a survivor unless it's like two people dead and, you know, or, you know, or everyone's on death hook, you know, and you're trying to be, you know, nice and everyone's on death hook and you're trying to get the last one. Um, that's like the only time I'd commit to somebody <laughs> on that building. Um, especially if they're running to the small window, if they're running to the big window, then maybe you can go around and see what they do. Um, but if they run to that small window or, or even worse, if they know how to switch directions, just give up. Because, like, you're going to have a rough time. <laughs> Trust me. Um, so, all right. Now let's get MLT going. So, let's see. Let's say he hadn't even broken this door down. Let's just say it goes normally, right? Like, he's chasing me. He breaks this door down. Or if he vaults, he comes this way. Let's go this way. This is how it would go. And I think I have the head start. Hell yeah, I do. So, you vault at the once, right? He's vaulting, but he has to break line of sight there that's why i was talking about my scratch marks and usually the scratch marks are going to be all over the wall this wall right here right and he'll see that and that's when you switch to the second and then i'm going to switch directions again just to show you guys how you can switch directions he's come around this corner he sees me and then you switch back this way and they can go here now this is going to block because of that but he just lost a bunch of distance and now he's over there. I'm not even in chase anymore, so I could keep going this way. I might get a free vault here and not in chase, which is nice. Turn the corner. This is uh, the, the one you need a big head start for, and I'll show you exactly why. He's coming this way. He can't mind game here because you can see him through the wall. There he's going. Even if he tries to mind game, we just switch directions back. And right now, I'm just getting a bunch of free vaults. But this is a limited time one, so you don't really want to get into chase this time. I'm still, I can get another vault here, which is nice. Because even this window, you're not going to vault three times. You just want this window to throw somebody off. Which is what he's doing. He's coming around. So now I'm in chase, right? Now would be the best time to switch back to the other window. And I have a big enough head start that I can. It would throw him off and I might even get this vault for real. Stand right here for a sec. See that he's coming this way. Didn't get me in chase, which I get this window for free. He's going to vault again. 
I'm still not in chase. Sometimes I think they can get you in chase, though. He doubles back, which is fine, because I'm still not in chase. And you can stand there and watch. Now I'm in chase. And now we're going this way, right? So I'm going to want to switch it back to the big vault. But you want to get your running vault there. He sees me here. You want to get around this corner. Sometimes they can see you there, but a lot of times they won't. So now you're back to this chase. And he's coming around the corner. I don't want to run back to the big one yet, though. He just lost chase. I'm going to see if I can get back to the big window. I could. But I can't remember how many times I've vaulted this. We shall see. He went around. I didn't want to vault at that time because it would have blocked in chase. And I was in a safe enough spot to be able to do this. So I'm running this way. Try to switch it back to the big one. But he might be catching on soon. Which he is. He's catching on. I mean, it's MLT. It's our friend doing this right now. So, But he has done this to many a killer. <laughs> See, now he's too close. I don't think I'll be able to make it back to the other one. This would be a situation where you'd want to loop it this way. Sometimes that happens. I would have just gotten caught here, as he did. But I also have examples of a particular Bubba where I did exactly that. I hugged it in here, and he ran around because he was so used to this window that he is tunnel mode on this window. Oh, shit. MLT right here, though, this is one of the places where you're taking a risk. He would have hit me, which would have been fine. If I'd have gotten hit, then I would have jumped this, but does it block? It doesn't, but I've been in the chase, so that might block the next time. I messed up here, but I'm also trying to explain it. So let's see if it blocks this time. You jump it. It doesn't. He swung, and I got the fast vault, so it helped. Let's see here. I can actually slow vault here, and I wouldn't get hit, but it doesn't matter. He tried to go to the other way, which is fine. Bloodlust is building up. Oh, might actually get a hit here. His bloodlust. No, he doesn't. It's gonna be. Yeah, he would. It'd be very close. And now he would for sure get a hit, which is fine. What happens if you're coming this way, right? That window was blocked. And if you'd have been pushing me this way, and if I didn't hesitate, which is what I should have done, and you would have kept running, then you'd be running back this way. And now this one is open again. And now you're back to this one for three vaults or however many it takes. Still looking behind you, and now we're running back the main direction that we wanted to run in the first place. So we get two vaults. We're going to switch back to this. Back to the big one. And now he's lost some ground once again, which is good. Let me switch back. He got me that time, though. And there you go. <laughs> That's how you run the storehouse. Here is why I think this is the best first map to do for a map guide for Survivor. Pretty much no matter where you are in the map, now that you know how to uh, run the actual storehouse itself, no matter where you are, you are within eye's distance of one of the best, strongest, safest loops in the entire game. It's only two windows in a pallet, so it's not too hard to run. And no matter what direction you approach it from is pretty much safe. So in, re in review, lots of RNG, Usually there's jungle gyms at the corners around the storehouse, which there are. Um, you can usually look for a pallet close to them, which there was here to see. The middle of the maps are usually RNG, like this one. You can use this jungle gym to connect together. Um, you're playing against Nurse. This right here I sounds weird, but is the best tile like in the game against Nurse because you can keep her without her seeing your line of sight and you just keep running a cir uh, circle around this. There will always be a jungle gym behind and a jungle gym in fourth. If you spawn back there, don't do the gen on the outermost here because you will make the map much smaller. That also goes for the jungle gyms in the back over there. Don't ever do the one in the back. You just made the map a, m a lot smaller. This is the map I when I was just starting to learn to loop killers. This was the map that I got most excited seeing. Every time I got into this map and I saw Groaning Storehouse, I was so excited because I'm like, all right, no matter what, it's not going to be, where's the loop at? Over the past few months, I've been gathering many examples on almost all of the maps that in the game really have very strong loops and even maps that don't. I've been using a bunch of RNG heavy maps and just gathering examples. So here would be the examples for looping the groaning storehouse. It's Booba. Yay. And I look like the baby doy. This is going to be hilarious. I hope he doesn't have a...
Please don't have bamboozle. I'm ready for it though, if he was at the head start. He does not have bamboozle. What's up, cootie? <laughs> Switch the directions. Please keep chasing me. This is a lot of fun. Yay! Well, we've seen this episode before. Oh, shit. It's not going for one. Dang. Yes! <laughs> no. I found the no end. Please don't go this way. Yes! I don't think there's anything for me. Meg!
Run. He's going to keep coming. I don't know where the fuck the doors are either. Which is extra bad. Oh fuck! I didn't see the survivor there. I do not know where the exit gates are, unfortunately. I'm, uh, I'm going down here. Ah! No! Oh my god, how do they fucking do that? That's hilarious. <laughs> no. Yay! Storehouse OP! Oh shit. <laughs> Your time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. What's up, Tyson? Yes! Hmm. <laughs> 
Because we can, and we will. I fucked up anyway. It doesn't matter. We got lucky. I stutter stepped like 15 times. Did they shoot? Oh my god. No! I don't know if we make it. Maybe. Oh, they're both locked. No, stutter step. Alright, it's back open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Splaz, thanks for the follow, mate. I appreciate you. Oh, no! No! Dang it. God damn it. I'm not here. I don't even exist. No! Yes! Mm, yes! Oh shit, she went the other way.
<laughs> the storehouse OP, dude. Come on. Really? Oh my god, she's gonna get me here though. I do not have the distance. No! God damn it, I didn't think she was still chasing me. I thought she finally left. Easier stuff is easy. Here we go. Like, where is this killer at? I'm looping this the wrong way. And now I'm looping it the right way. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> this is why I want to make a video on how to loop the storehouse and like every map in general just for shit like this here we go don't get me in chase at least here <laughs> no she saw I'm gonna have to turn it around, I think. No! <laughs> she went the weird way. Oh, it's fucking blocked. Yes! <laughs> Hello! No! I wanted to keep it out of chase. <laughs> Did she get me here? No, she doesn't. That's hilarious. It's black now. I don't think I make it anywhere here. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! Oh my god! It's so sad. Just gonna give me your no. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You gotta stay away from. Let's go, space. He's gonna get a hit here on me.
Yeah, that's what the running vault's for. I love the storehouse. You guys see why I love the storehouse. It's just for fun. I am so 99 though. Like, if he just like taps me once, I'm I'm 100%ed. But is he gonna try? All right, here we go. See what I mean by how strong this building is? Like, look at this crap, dude. This is what I mean by how strong. And it, and it really depends more on the map than the actual killer. Like, look at this. <laughs> yeah, here we go again. Except for he does not have me in a chase here. He almost has me in a chase. Here we go. Oh, he has me in a chase. See, I'm going to use those old scratch marks. Hopefully, will help me out here. They did. Do you see how he went to my other scratch marks? That's why I like this building, because your scratch marks are still there, so he gets misdirected. That was kind of a perfect example. I was talking about how to run this building. <laughs> so he's waiting on. Oh, dang. Thought he was waiting to hit me because I was exposed. Hmm. He kind of got me in a funny spot here. I don't know if I have enough distance to connect them together. I think he backed off, though. He did back off, didn't he? Gotta run here just to be safe. Let's do it again. Is he chasing? He is. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Fuck. <laughs> hey, Carlo, what's going on, mate? I was unavailable two times. <laughs> That's looking hilarious. I can't break him out. How am I not exposed yet? <laughs> I thought he was like stalking me. He's not. <laughs> I love this building. Did you turn around? <laughs> can I get the running vault here? I think I can. 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 I didn't need to, apparently. Is it blocked here? It is blocked. But he already knows I haven't, I haven't thrown off the scratch marks. make it though. It's all good. We got it. Good shit. Hopefully it's not a typical Nemi though. Camp Slug and Tunnel. What the fuck? Looking like a camp slugging tunnel, huh? Did I 
That means that don't go for the whip always camp slug and tunnel. Yay, he got owned bad enough that he had to leave. That's hilarious. Oh, one gen done. Better fucking tunnel him out. Come on, Nemi. I'll fucking run you here forever. Even with your zombie. You hit the whip this way. Haha! <laughs> Get owned. God, Nemi. He teabagged me. Oh, nope. I gotta get him. <laughs> I can, like, hear it in his head. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, too. He wants to tunnel me so bad, but I'm not giving him the option because I'm playing too safe. He just fucking vaulted that. <laughs> nice. He turned away so he didn't have to see me teabagging him. Please block him. He's fucking hilarious. Oh, he got me with the whip once. Nice job, dude. <laughs> Look at him, dude. He's fucking hilarious. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you never got me, dude. You've seen me. Thanks for following me. Just come in, I'm Mr. Taterhead. I tap dance on stream, actually. Only when people want me to. I never want people to get overloaded with it, so it's on point redemptions for the cooldown. I think it's actually available right now. Um, but it's actual real tap dance.
Oh shit, that was good. You got me with that. I think this is a fake pallet. That's what I thought. That's how you use my favorite window in this game. Like that. That's what I was trying to do earlier. I love this window. It's the freaking best. I had to pick up a shift today. That's fine though. I love this window. Did I get the cut in time? I don't know if you saw me or not. Yes! Thank you so much, Mikasa. And it sucks to do that, but at the same time, you're like, hey. You gotta do that. I hope he doesn't know about the storehouse. Yes! Ah! I love this map. Unless you're in your cabin, but who fucking wants to be in there all the time? <laughs> That's the only bad thing. Everything else about cruise ships is fucking amazing. Unless you have some drama causers, but I was never, like, involved with it. Get storehoused. <laughs> I love this map so much. No, no, I have to. Please chase me. All right, I'm going for it. I don't give a shit if I go down or take a hit. I'm running right back. Come here, dude. You know what's up. I got the slow ball because I was afraid since it was doctor. close to me. No, yes! Ah! Yes! Ah! 
made the right choice. Good shit, Doc. I don't know if I make this. No, good shit. You got me here. Ah. No. Is this fake real? <laughs> ah! That's real. I thought I had him nice and turned around. Dang, I don't have any pallet. No! I can't get put in the basement, so I have to go to Killer Shack. Dang. I tried! Fucking A. People all redeem at the same time. Oh shit, here we go. There's no pallet here, is there? Yes, there is. What the fuck? That's a cool perk. And I stutter step. Boo, stutter step. Nice, the black ones. See, I didn't know about those until. Oh, he, he whipped. That's. He whipped again, but that was because I got the running vault and he didn't expect me to. I want to try those. I want to try Derek Grant's as well, but... Dude, that was the weirdest stutter step I've ever been involved in. I knew he was going to do that. That's why I checked out where the lockers were the first time. Dang. Did he actually run that way? He did! What? <laughs> Let's go. And we're back. That window's done. Dang. No, stutter step. Yes! Didn't matter.
See, I can just throw this because I'm by myself. And then I'll stutter step. Nice. <laughs> If I get a thousand more, I will jump from 13th place in Nemesis Whipdowns to greet it. Yes! Oh, fuck. I can't say I was ready for that. Oh, damn. I'm not gonna make it to the storehouse though. Boo! Is he vault again? Yes! I still don't think I make it though. Okay, well I should not have made that. Let's just count that as an L anyway and move on. I literally got a thousand Nemi whip downs last week. And I'm like, dude! And like, I went from 3,800 to 4,800 whip downs. Oh, shit. No! I was hoping... I didn't need to throw that, but... I wanted to make it... Yes! Back this way, which I did. Yes! I don't know if I make it again, though. Run. Ah! <laughs> that fucking timing was hilarious. Holy shit. Who was that? Thank you so much, whoever that was. Josh! Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. No, I waited too long. And I'm running this window the wrong direction. This is really unfortunate. You can still run it this way though. Let's try to loop this so it won't block right away. <laughs> Bro, three times in a row? That is some thirst, man. Four in a row? Right, here we go. They're gonna get that one, though. I do not remember where the exit gate was, I'm not gonna lie. go let's run the windows this is my favorite windows in the entire game I'll be the first to admit they should not exist but they do so I'm gonna use them like look at how ridiculous this is dude you know what I mean like look at this crap how is this okay Short answer is it's not. All right, now I'm in chase. She's trying to vault to see if she gets closer. It's not how it works though. Not with this guy, uh, not with this window. Unfortunate. You see what I mean, guys? It's so dumb. How many times am I to jump this same window? <laughs> oh my god! Can run it this way too. Is 
She's vaulting it. Oh, nice. She got me in chase. That's actually going to... Oh, my God. I boosted it. I messed up. She might get me. Not this time, but it's going to block because I boosted it. It's okay because we can run this right here. Oh, she got me. No, she did not. Okay, well, I was definitely around the wall there, but I, they, they can have that one. I need, like, a legion, oddly enough. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I already had Myers. No, I don't know if I've had Myers in the storehouse. Oh shit! What's up, Chancy? Oh fuck! <laughs> That was funny timing. You can go first. Uh, I was gonna let you have the window. He's gonna get tier three and get me right here. Oh no, he didn't. I see. That was unfortunate. The double blow. Right now it's nurse. <laughs> I'm really annoyed with nurse right now. That's the nurse that or the killer gets. That changes like every two months. We were talking about that too. That was a aggressive swipe, my man. I get the fast fault. Yay! <laughs> now the window's blocked though. You gonna cut me off here? Yep. No, he's not. Um, but right now it's nurse. I and the, obviously once again this is an opinion here. So if you disagree with me, that's fine. I you know that's the whole point. And it's a video game, so like it's you know <laughs> obviously okay to be disagreeing over this, but. Like yeah. chopped off their body. They really need to update the trappers and the raids. So this right here is a pretty good spot as well. Yes, this spot is OP. Skater's break dancing while she's hitting Jim. Yes. I love how we bring a Mac she did not. and then out of the fucking four maps it actually gives us the one we wanted. Yes. That. And we'll do it again because I still need practice. <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't bring us to Shelter Woods. Shelter Woods and a coal tower. Honestly, every map but this one. <laughs> I can't fucking hate. God, I hate. Oh my god, I cannot stand Ironworks. I fucking hate that map. There's a semi good loop in main, but that's it. Oh my god! I think she gets me here though. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. Oh my god, she's fast. Jesus Christ. The bloodlust. Why didn't she break it? It's fine. 
It's she whatever. has so much bloodlust that she doesn't want to. If she breaks the pallet, yeah. she loses all that speed she has right now. Yeah. The momentum. Oh no. No, she lost it. <laughs> Dude! I love this map so much, it's so bad. Hand vault? Yeah. Look at all the lost momentum too. What the fuck is I just oh, realized what is doing, doing? Adam's doing nothing. Oh my guy is vibing. He's in the corner of the map right yeah. now. Not even on a gin. Come on. That I don't know. Does she know she can break that know. door? I don't know. Yeah, no! Okay. He, he is, he's just sitting behind a rock. Oh, oh shit! Oh, she's got her- Wait! She's got her Cat, can, can, is there any way you can give Operation Dizzy a shout out? Please! <laughs> What's up, dude? We were just teaching people how to run the storehouse in custom games, and then we Terrible. got the storehouse, dude. Dead serious. Actually, dude, Adam could have had a gin done by now. At least at half. <laughs> He's not even. He's not even working on it. He's not even doing this totem. He's looking at it though. He wants to, but he's not gonna. <laughs> oh, now now he's going somewhere else. He's running at the end of the map. And I was running. <laughs> you might get me here. I think it went too late. I'm gonna do. A, I want to buy a bald cap and do it. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, god I'd, have to, I'd have to cut the shit out of my hair. My shit is way too... Oh, you're gonna pick up my flashlight? Oh no, you're just gonna run over my body. Okay, You fine. You can put on a bald cap. You don't have too long of a hair. You'd be able Holy to Holy crap. It. Yeah, possibly. Mr. Worldwide. Oh my god, our teammate's actually on a gin after Tater's with them already for like two minutes. He finally hopped off a gin. Yo. No! He's at like 10%, so another three minutes, Tater. <laughs> <laughs> no, he left me! She left him finally? I this is not happening, this is higher than level two perk. That's actually yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Spine shield, yeah. plunderers, deliverance, and this is he not happening. He has deliverance, so don't get him. Oh, I gotta give a shout out to fucking Hana. Uh, we're probably gonna do this all over again. Yeah, Adam has to look. Adam, Kobe, I don't what, know what why are you he's doing? not using it. Yep. Adam, use deliverance. Oh my god. What is he doing? I'm gonna cry if he enters stage two without even trying to do it, Me even too. though he can. <laughs> what is. Oh, I guess for how- no, Yes! There you go! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god, I kobe Now go- Oh, they would get me! They're not gonna get the hit here, but they might get it next time, because they can't switch back to the other winner to try to just- Um, Adam? There you go. I don't think Adam's okay in the head. See, I would've vaulted that other window there, but I couldn't. This is blocked. Yes! Oh, still being broken, he's just not sick anymore. Not him fast vaulting the pallet. Oh my god, they came up again! again. <laughs> Adam went back on the gen. Wow. Oh, clap, clap. I hate how you've been looping this plague for like three minutes and you have made more progress on your gen than Adam has. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Oh. This is not happening and still can't hit the great skill check. <laughs> <laughs> he's a youngin' youngin'. Yeah, he's, he's a baby. Yeah. I mean, I know rank doesn't matter, but I'm curious. Bronze. Teammate, or our fucking killer's name is Orange Lemon? Pog? I think she doubled. No, she didn't. That's actually an amazing name, Orange Lemon. Oh yeah, this play has bloodlust fucking 10,000. Double back again. Hey, got me here though. Adam. Oh, no! Oh, no! So I think that's it. I think that's the end of the uh, storehouse guide. I hope this helps everybody. And I hope you get as excited as I do every time I see that we're now on the groaning storehouse and I'm playing Survivor.